Are you ready for a tour? Yes? Well, I've been waiting for this because there's a lot of things that have changed and that I want you to see. I'm super excited because these are things that I really didn't plan. I just went with it and they're working out. I also, before we move on, wanted to tell you that Al Green Products has offered something special and somewhere along the tour, I will tell you what that is. So you have to stick around for it. Anyways, so I got a nice day and I'm excited. So here we go. Oh, and if you're new here, this is the end of our garden valley. <laughs> I just still don't know if I need to call it that or something else, but it, it works. So we're gonna start from the end all the way to the front. And once I get to the front, I will show you what that looks like. This is the bed where I just finished removing the giant zinnias that I had. And I removed them because we got a lot of powdery mildew and it just didn't look good. Plus they're too big and they troll over so much that I couldn't walk through here. So I took those off and the plan for this bed is, I'll have a lot of volunteers here right now, but the plan for this bed, my next video, I'll show you how I'm gonna put garlic. So this is gonna be my garlic bed and possibly put some stuff here on the ends that will trail out or that will bloom real pretty and make this bed look really nice. So for one, I wanted to show you, this is my sweet potato. I added her in here, actually a couple of sweet potatoes. If you notice the vines um, over on a couple of sides there, but it was just an experiment. There's sweet potatoes that were growing uh, from my potatoes inside the kitchen and I put the, the um, I put the starts in water and then they just started growing and I said, you know what, let's just give it a try. And I think they are doing really well. Even though the weather has been pretty funky here, I don't know what's gonna happen with these sweet potatoes, but we'll give them a try. And I love the vining, so I'm definitely going to do that next time. It's just a gorgeous vine, something that can trail out on a trellis. Yes, 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 I love that. So all of this is of volunteers. And this I added. This is a calendula. I snuck a few calendulas around to see how they would do and so far so good. And I also have grass growing everywhere but, and mess, which is normal. <laughs> I have some more zinnias that are just growing here and here. This is a new mint. I just got this yesterday. I need to find a place for it. And another volunteer here is Tomatillo, which I didn't think I had. So I don't know what happened here. My last tomatillo was not so much of a success. And then this one that just, you know, decided to volunteer itself here is actually growing tomatillos on their own. So if I pull this out, you can see where it's going. But look, got a tomatillo there. It's pretty cool, huh? I don't know how it will do once it starts getting really cold. It's kind of one of those experiments, but I'll take it. I just wanted to see what she would do. I thought I saw another tomatillo, but maybe I, maybe I'm missing it. All right, so moving on. My celery here um, has been doing okay. I mean, it's pretty large, kind of growing crazy. Yeah, that one's like stuck together and it's old already. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this, but definitely if I don't have the room for all the garlic, it's gonna go. Over here on this side, I have some fennel that's grown really well. I think it likes it over here. I need to do some, some pruning, but overall, that's it, that's all I got. Oh, and this one, this gorgeous beauty. It just trailed out and look, it's just, it's beautiful, it's just growing on its own. I really like how it's trailing out. Maybe I need to do that next time, get them to trail out. For the first bed that I sh I'm showing you, it's also pretty, but I'm not gonna show you pretty and perfect. I'm just gonna show you what I have because this is just what I'm learning and I think it's beautiful too, so. 
over here on this bed I actually really really like it these are starts that are from our local garden center and one thing that I was super surprised is these Asian greens let me step over on this side so you can see how beautiful they are they are two Asian green plants and they just look like a giant green flower I just love them so much I'm definitely gonna do this again since I like to snack I'm gonna eat Woo. scoot back <laughs> I'm gonna take one right now I just look in the back to see if there's anything that um, I need to be concerned with because I truly don't want to rinse them there we go there's little black dots sure if you eat them it's fine but if you don't know there are a lot of microorganisms in the back of the leaves that are so good for our intestinal tract our organs I mean it's just everything that you want in the back of these leaves so you want to eat them Moving on, this is one cilantro plant, and in between here, there is this garlic chive, which is pretty awesome. I, like, I do like to just eat these by themselves like this. But um, this Asian green got a little bit too big, I didn't know that, and but it's doing okay. Look, it's still pretty green. I think it likes the shade. Um, I'm not sure what this is. I'm sure this is something that's got to go, but this is a volunteer. This is dill, which I love to touch. It's just so fluffy and doing really well. In between here, these are some um, chives that I also grew myself and look like they're doing well. This right here, I need to get rid of. It's just everywhere. I don't know what it is, but um, I need to get rid of it who knows now this is what is it totally forgot oh parsley yes this is parsley and here are three sweet potatoes and look how beautiful I'm, I'm still amazed the foliage is so beautiful this is one of my favorite trailing vines so far just because of their beauty. You know what? I might try to do um, a different box around our arbor and put some of this to vine out on top of the arbor. We'll see. This is a volunteer lettuce. And then all of this is, well, a lot of it, seeds that I added for different types of lettuces. They're all here in the back which I'm, I haven't done a really good job of making sure that they're doing good. See how they're yellowing here a little bit, but we are going to take care of that today. Over here on this bed is my tomato bed, primarily, and some basil. And this basil is not doing so well already. It's pretty much retiring. Um, this one is just growing ginormous. I actually let it do its thing because I really didn't grow basil last year and I needed to learn its capabilities. So what happens when you just let it do its thing or if you come back and prune it, which I did a couple times, as you can tell right here. This is where I did a cut and it still grows massive. One thing I do love is passing by it because it smells so, so, so good. And I still have a lot of buds here. So it's flowering. So I'm gonna let it do its thing, let the flowers uh, dry out, and hopefully I can keep the seeds. I was very skeptical about the tomatoes. I really didn't know if they would do good or not. They're struggling. A lot of it is my fault. I really didn't do much to it. And again, it's the same thing. It's just my, my, my way to learn. I learn the best that way. Just doing everything you're not supposed to do so that you know why. <laughs> Even though like I read it and you know, it's, I need that experience. But I do have a couple tomatoes. Yes, I do. And a few of the ones that I planted, they're, they got too much shade. The other ones are just too big and they're not doing well, but the same thing they have stunt growth 
The same thing that happens to them right now happened to my cabbages over on the other side, Brussels sprouts, and now they're just going at it. So who knows? Maybe they'll be stuck for a little bit and then they'll start growing. But I'll show you what it is. Another sweet potato vine. Looks like it's doing okay. And then, okay, so I pruned this heavily and look, we do have some tomatoes. It's mid-November and one just ripened. I, w I waited an extra day, but it looks like something was trying to pick at it. I'm still gonna harvest this, but I waited for me to show you. I didn't wanna take it off before I showed you what it looked like, but I do have one tomato. And here's a couple more. And then let me show you over here. I have another one. This is a Roma tomato. I hope I get to taste her. It's only a few, but I will do. And then I went yesterday to the Arbor Gate, that's our local nursery, and picked up some strawberries. I didn't know that this was the time to pick them up. So I'm gonna put, this is gonna be a strawberry, full of strawberry bed, hopefully. These are the tomatoes that I seeded myself. See how they're itty bitty, like they just stopped growing. Oh, not that one, this one right here. And got this one right there. And I think the ones on this side were just too shaded and didn't do much. And then I went ahead and planted a couple of beans on this side and we get to harvest a few of those See? look i didn't even notice that one had a tomato over on this side with my shadow we've got the zinnias that are still going strong they're beautiful color i just added red on this i wanted all of this to be super red but i didn't get too many and then look we got another Roma over here. How beautiful! And then I have a lemon basil tucked somewhere in here in this corner. Now this one is one of my favorites right now. It is my bean bed and I'll show you why. It's just full of beautiful beans. There's so many beans in here. I think there's about 30 plants of beans here and then a mix of other things. I tucked in anything I could possibly tuck in. This is here from the spring. And look at how my beans are doing. Look at these beans. I can't wait to collect some of these seeds. Look at these giant beans. We're gonna do some harvesting as well. And then I have a zinnia. Look how beautiful these are beautiful purple blooms and I have a mix of different beans and this is just stuff that I just picked up that was left in the Baker Creek seed online shopping deal <laughs> but they're super gorgeous I left one of the zinnias um, just to decorate the wall a little bit but you see how my powdery mildew just kind of went everywhere there's a volunteer carrot here from this. Actually, I don't think it's a volunteer. This carrot is the only one that survived from the ones that I seeded here with all the extreme heat. And then I added in some peas here on the end to trail out. They're not doing as good as I thought, but I think it's because they've been trailing into the shade. So hopefully I pull them out and, and maybe they get a little bit healthier. See, there's some more peas. In between there, this is some onion chives that just looks crazy, but I love it. Some more peas. I tucked in a calendula in there. We'll see how this one does with some shade. And over here, I've got some nasturtiums or a nasturtium. Can't wait for her to start blooming. And then look at this bean trying to troll out in the air. He's gorgeous. And this bean right here has survived the entire year and she's still giving me some beans. Oh, and over here I have, I think, broccoli just growing in between the beans. Doesn't it look beautiful? And 
Oof, this one does have a little bug. Oof. Right, let's see. And then we just snack. Mm. Amazing. Moving on. I have some calendulas that I added in these two pots. And I added some carrot seeds in this corner. And do you see these beauties? Look at all my carrots. I need to add a lot more. I just haven't done it, but carrots, we are growing. And then my peppers, they're coming along. I think I've gotten some more leaves now, but I'm still full of peppers. Leaves or not, the peppers are growing, which I'm so thankful for. I got a couple habaneros that are finally ripening and growing. You see those there? Look at these massive jalapenos. I don't think I'll ever stop growing jalapenos because they just look so beautiful. In the very back, I have some Victoria Blue Salvias that I added a couple, a few months ago, and they're finally getting through. So hopefully that gets pretty blue soon. And then this marigold. My gorgeous marigold went through some hail and now she's been blooming for the past few weeks, probably a month now, and it's gorgeous. Some oregano that I've never grown is blooming, and the bees are loving it. And you see this massive one over here? This is another volunteer tomatillo. Don't know what to do with her. She's getting crazy. In between, I've got some eucalyptus, and then these two jalapenos are the ones that were, that were attacked a lot by my ratatouilles. And then I snuck in another calendula back there. Maybe we can get some color in that corner. Remember I told you about Al Grain products? All right, I know you can't hear me from all the way over there and I don't have a mic. They tried really hard to provide you with a discount code and they weren't able to. They're working on their website and they had some tech issues. Um, let's just adjust this because what? <laughs> Anyways, um, so what they decided to do instead is give one away to one of you. So the only thing that I want you to do is go to their Instagram account they have a new picture which I'll put right here on their new logo so go to that picture like it follow them and add a comment saying that I sent you so put Daisy sent me and I will go through those uh, comments check to see if you're following them and pick a winner so I'm super excited to do that I can't wait. That's all you have to do. You don't have to go to mine or anything like that. Just go to their Instagram account. I'll put the instructions down below so you know exactly what to do in case you can never speak. So anyways, I'm super excited for one of you to get one of these for free. I've loved them so much so far. I still haven't added the gravel there to kind of fix that. It's just on my to-do list soon, but they're doing so so good and I love them I haven't seen my friends come around so working working aren't those compost bins beautiful I can't wait for you to have one all right moving on the next bed is the one that I had the tomatoes before and I kind of just tested things out and I was so hoping that these sunflowers decided to bloom for this video but they didn't and I wanted to show you how things are doing right now and maybe my next video I'll hopefully get some blooms look how tall that sunflower is we're it's November 19th and I'm about to get some sunflowers you see what I mean <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing I just tried it let me let me take you to the top so you can see the bloom that's about to open up
And then I still have my eggplant, my very first eggplant. I didn't grow this one from seed. I did pick it up from the um, garden center, but it's doing well. I've got to cut this off, but I added a lot of different things here. This is kohlrabi. And then this is some nasturtiums. This is some mustard greens and some Swiss chard, another nasturtium. And then over here, we've got some more kohlrabi and some collard greens. In this corner, we have some lemon balm. It's doing so gorgeous. And then on this side is my okra. I've been harvesting quite a few okras with just this one plant. And I'm still getting some okras, which is totally different. You see this giant one here? Uh, it took too long to harvest it because you know you have to be cautious with okra. It, it goes from like two inches to four inches in a day. So I'm gonna let it grow and then probably cut it and let it dry and collect the seeds. I will harvest that baby in the next couple of days. Over here on this bed, I've got some cabbage, some broccoli, those snapdragons that are still going. I have a lavender that's still going and a few things that I added. The petunias, they're doing okay. Added some more calendulas and the lavender. Look how gorgeous the lavender is still going. It struggled a bit, but we still got some blooms here. On these cabbages, I've gotten some bug issues, like some eggs there. Now, so I'm trying to treat them. I did spray them with some neem oil so you can see the different tones here. I don't know if that was a good idea. But my broccoli is doing great. I did harvest one broccoli head here. It wasn't too big, but I ate it. And then I have all these baby broccolis that I can harvest right now already. And then over here, my uh, bell pepper. Bell peppers were really attacked by my friends. You see how there's no leaves? They're trying to come back. And then I do have a bell pepper going here that's ready to harvest. This is a volunteer marigold. She came back and then a um, Swiss chard that I'm not sure if it likes it over here, but I still like it there. Now we're getting close to the entryway and I have a few volunteers. That is a Xenia volunteer. I had a, quite a few other things here that I've just finished taking off. Um, my, may, my watermelon started to do really well and then now it's not. I think it got the powdery mildew issue and yeah, that's the aftermath. Volunteer Xenia. And then over here I have this gorgeous sunflower that's also ready for me. I'm just patiently waiting. And this one is very different. It's got a bunch of buds everywhere. So it's going to be a showstopper for sure. Look at these little buds. I mean, I still can't believe I have this beautiful sunflower mid-November. Lavender that's doing really well. And guess what this is right here? Yep, calendulas. <laughs> Another volunteer zinnia. Ooh, I just noticed a squash bug I don't like. E. Another lavender. And this sunflower had some shade, so it's not as tall as it should be, but I'll take it. I, I'm still amazed. Look at that beautiful sunflower. And it's so tall. This is a coleus I just snuck there in the corner. And my plan is to add a few more things here in the middle, but I was waiting to get rid of my friends, so let's stop eating my stuff over here. Another volunteer zinnia. My zinnias went everywhere. Um, I've got some rosemary in this bed that uh, is getting a little yellow, so I gotta check to see what's up. What is that? Oh, it's just a leaf. But I love to touch it and to smell it. Oh, I love the smell of it. And then here's my peppers that are coming back. These are the ones that were heavily attacked, 
and it's actually blooming they're coming back they're coming back I think they're excited to come back and I've got some cute uh, I'm not sure what I snuck in here I forgot oh some kale I added some kale here on the corners that's a potato vine that I've been having that came from the compost bin actually and it's been one of my most treasures because of how beautiful it's made this entryway. Okay, I think I skipped this bed. Marigolds going strong. I love how they trail out. And if you're thinking about flavor, the yellow ones are better than this one. And so over here, I snuck in some peas. They're doing okay. The variety that I really like is this one. Um, this one's like just totally different this is the maxi goat I really like it the other one is over here trying to trail out which is what I want and then I added a lot of cilantro in between and I think I've got some Brussels sprouts or cab uh, not cabbage broccoli over here not so sure yeah it's broccoli this one has been like this. It's just started to really take on growth and it's a Mexican mint marigold. My sweet lunchbox peppers are also another one that the ratatouilles love. So they haven't left me any. Only a few that are probably out of their reach. Let's see, oh, got a couple there. But it was full just a few weeks ago and then they just poof, took them all. Victoria Blue Salvia has been a beauty this entire year. I definitely will do this one again. I just don't know how I will put them because they do get crazy and wild. So they do provide a lot of shade. And then over here, these Brussels sprouts kind of just stayed stuck like that. And another extra potato vine. And I added a red cabbage here. Seems to be doing okay. And then over here on the last bed is my um, okra. And I've, I've harvested a few and I still got another one going. Leaves have a little bit of powdery mildew, but it's still going. I have a nasturtium here, some cabbage over there. And this is actually some okra. I can't believe this is one that I did put in from seed. Sorry, not okra eggplant and it's starting to bloom I did add this one from seed I know it's the wrong timing but they're still going and then from early in the year I had some cilantro here and it reseeded on its own so I've got cilantro growing in all these little random places I've got some I'm not sure what this is forgot what it was um, in here I added a few of the kills and um, all this is shading it so I don't think that was a great idea these are going crazy I even forgot what this is I've got to look at the tag some Victoria blue salvia and most of it got the powdery mildew but I also have some more of these beautiful snapdragons that are still going the snapdragons are a beauty here I love the pink color and I'll definitely keep doing these. I think those are the Madame type, I'm not sure. This is the Brussels sprout. This is the one I was telling you that just stayed stunt all year long until the fall. It just started to grow. Doesn't have any yet, but it's getting there. This is the entrance to the garden. I added just a couple of Thanksgiving. Um, decor there and kept the pumpkins those are still going strong the mom is trying to survive <laughs> but here's the walkway things are still looking pretty colorful especially with all these volunteer zinnias I love just the random pink I hope my sunflowers bloom this next week and I can show my Thanksgiving guests family um, what they look like instead of you know these random long sticks they can see my beautiful sunflowers sorry for my tripod but 
Just wanted to give you a quick tour. My next plan, I'm gonna remove the tomatoes soon and put these strawberries in. And my next video is gonna be the garlic. If you stay till now, thank you. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> I just love to say that because I do talk to my plants, I do sing to my plants, and I always call them beautiful because they are just like me, and they're beautiful. Yes, those little cheesy corny, I don't care. <laughs> I hope you have a great day, and don't forget to stop by. Check my description below for the details on the giveaway. See you next time. Did you think that was it? No. Let's just eat our tomato. I've been waiting so patient for this. And I'm gonna show you, I added something new to the garden. I sure did. Wow. Wow. I made a mess. But it's so good. Let me show you. I like to show you things at the very end because those are my true, true friends. The ones that stay till the end, right? <laughs> Let me look, look, look. I got my swing! Yes! I purchased my swing. Those are rosemaries I just got. I'm just gonna get some pots for them. But look at this beautiful swing I just bought. It's my Christmas gift. I will link well, I will show you the company. There you go. And that's a wrap. <laughs>